Five kilobyte. Required. Hello, viewers. Today is going to be another demonstration and some little work and experimentation. Today we have to present to you a portable reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder. Three and a half inch DC bias rim drive reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder by Iowa. This machine is DC bias and was acquired recently at a place that cleans out estates. Oh, this lamp is too bright, isn't it? That's a shame. There, now it's too dim all around. You have a choice. Too bright in one spot or too dim all around. Make your decision. Anyway, this machine is working off original parts. DC bias, rim drive, three and a half inch reel to reel tape recorder. But it does have some distortion to the sound when recording, which I believe has to do with the level of bias being used. This is a test recording. The level is all the way up, and I'm speaking about three to four inches away from the mic. This is a test recording. The level is all the way up, and I'm speaking about three to four inches away from the mic. It's recorded at a lower level. Speaking up to the microphone, recording at a lower level. May 22nd, 2017. Speaking up to the microphone, recording at a lower level, May 22nd, 2017. You can hear there's a kind of distortion to the sound. Testing again with the level all the way up again, speaking up close to the mic. Now speaking at arm's length distance from the mic. And let's see how it sounds when speaking at arm's length distance. <coughs> that was a close up burp. Testing again. With the level all the way up again, speaking up close to the mic. Now speaking at arm's length distance from the mic. And let's see how it sounds when speaking at arm's length distance. <coughs> that was a close up burp. So we're going to open this machine up and try doing some operations on its circuitry. And we'll see how that goes. Here's what the unit looks like without reels loaded on it. This really doesn't give the best example because this lamp is just makes it too bright in one concentrated area. Is that better? The lighting over here really is not very good. It's quite poor to say the least. The very, very least. Considering the Iowa TP50R, if I remember correctly, it has an expected circuit board inside. This seems, from memory, from whatever you can remember, to look just like the circuit board that was in the Iowa TP50R rim drive machine, where I had to adjust the bias to fix an identical distortion problem. If I remember correctly, I think it's this resistor right here that needs to be replaced with the 47K. But I think what I'll do is replace it with a trimmer, or possibly a trimmer in series with the fixed resistor of, say, 4.7k or 10 kilo ohms around that range. I 
And of course, I'll also check for leaky capacitors. You can see it only runs on four transistors. The transistor is being manufactured by Sanyo. So while I had this Iowa machine opened up, I decided to use my trusty little homemade ESR meter that I use to check capacitors. And it shouldn't be too big of a surprise that all the old electrolytic capacitors were leaky. Every single one. It's amazing the amplifier worked at all. Although I don't believe that affected the record to make it distorted the way it was. But I have the I have replaced the Fuchs resistor on the uh, amplifier for the BIOS with a pont with with a trimmer, and I will be using that to adjust the BIOS. I have it set to about 43 or something like that K right now instead of the original 25 K. And we will be doing some record tests and maybe tweaking the bias and then doing the record tests and so forth. So, oh, wonderful. So, I don't even turn anymore. The freaking heck. I guess it knew I was going to make a video. I won't even run. Better. What's going on? Oh, maybe I found the screw that got lost. It's stuck in there. See, one of the screws came off, and I and I it just kind of who know got who knows where inside, and I managed to find it finally. It the screw gotten I see how it is now it's going to disappear I saw the screw in there the screw got in there get out you stupid screw you nemesis shouldn't have got lost to begin with okay I can screw the, ampl the, other, the other screw back on the amplifier now don't even try okay got the other screw on the amplifier now that's good to know See, whenever I had, when I had took the old resistor off and before I put the new one on, I did a record test to see what it sounded like without a bias resistor, which also confirmed that it was a bias resistor, because it was a sound that you get without a bias. Matter of fact, if you wanted it to be AC bias, right where the resistors goes is likely where you would want to apply the AC signal. Levels all the way up, I'm speaking it about half of an arm's length distance away from the mic. Let's see how this comes out with a bias set to about 43 or so kilo ohms. You hear the difference in the recording quality. Volume is set more or less halfway. Let's see how this sounds. Volume is set more or less halfway. Let's see how this sounds. Okay. Doing some recordings in which I will adjust the bias resistor whilst recording. I have fixed a trimmer in here, turning it up. I have fixed a trimmer in here. I have the level set too low. It's going to be a very bad record. Rest resistor will, will recording. Wow, I was making the recording. It went from good to being weak. Doing some recordings in which I will adjust the bias resistor will, will recording. That's not good. That's ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Turning it 
pump. That is turning it clockwise. Now we're turning it counterclockwise, 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 counterclockwise at minimum now. A minimum, see how it sounds, a minimum setting. CCC is trying it, of course. Now we're in mid position. We're going to see how it sounds in mid position. The end of this test and see how the sound quality is. In position seems to be good. It seems to be good in that range. Then again, ironic. Now that's at about 50 kilo ohms. Would be a mid position testing. Let's turn the level down. Level is all the way down. Turning it up just a little bit. Speaking up close to the mic. Turning it up a little bit more, 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 more. Then again, ironic. Now that's at about 50 kilo ohms. Would be a mid position testing. Let's turn the level down. Now turning it up just a little bit. Speaking up close to the mic. Turning it up a little bit. More, 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 more,
Oh, that's it. Anyway, um, you can hear these speed irregularities that, you know, come in every now and then, you know, and all the little ways of rim drive. Low quality four transistor DC bias rim drive recorder. I hope you enjoyed this video presentation. this machine. The Iowa TP-40R presented to you by your host, the Cassette Master. Recorded on the 22nd of May 2017. Hope you enjoyed this presentation. How blooming gay? Live long and prosper.